was very angry. <laughs> I mean, you can see that. It was, it was a, he's spoken for a long while there. I think you can probably applaud his honesty to, to an extent. I agree with him. I think the players weren't as good enough tonight. I don't know about betrayed there, his words from the dressing room, but they certainly didn't perform. He can't go out and perform to these players that played pretty well five days ago. Um, I think what I take from that is he's not sure what, where to go with it. I think he's, he's tried to be strong with them quite a lot of times earlier in the season. He's tried to now sort of say after Tottenham, you know, that was their best performance, you know, trying to be a bit more positive. I'm not sure what he's saying then. He's, uh, he's not happy with them. I don't think he sees where. I think it was quite crucial where he, he spoke about, were they overperforming last year or are they just bad players? You know, he, he wasn't quite sure. He's questioning them. He's questioning the players as to how they can turn can this around. Can you lost them, Frank? I don't know about lost them. I think they're good players. Uh, they're far too many are underperforming than they have been for a while. I mean, this is Chelsea we're talking about now, and we're not talking about Chelsea. A bad year should be top six, you know, still there and thereabouts. Where they are just above the relegation zone isn't possible. So I don't know what's lost, whether he's lost them, but something has to change. It has to change right now, whether it's attitude, whether it's performance, whether it's something. But, well, that's only one man's decision, and that'll be Bramon Abramovich. And I think he's, he's probably looking at it very closely, obviously. We've been here before with Chelsea, where managers change midway through the season. I think... I don't know how many times you can do that. Uh, you know, we had some good results from doing it before. We had a different set of players at that point. Um, but I have to say that I think what they set out when they took Jose Mourinho back was a long plan. Now, what can they gain by getting rid of him now? Where they're probably not going to make the top four anyway, the top six. They're not going to get relegated, I think, if we're honest. So I'm sure there's a view to, to say, if I'm Roman Abramovich, hang on, let's see what happens at the end of the season. Why make a rash change now that can't really affect the, the year that much and then see where we're at at the end of the year. What do you think, Jamie? I think the way to use by betrayed, I think he is saying some of them have chucked it. I think that this quality of player shouldn't be performing like that. You can have a run of form. We've all had it as players, a bad run, four or five games. Sometimes it may last a bit longer, once or twice in your career. For a full squad of players to be performing like that, there's obviously a massive disconnect between the manager and the players. And Frank's mentioned that one man's got to make that decision. Now, I think it was interesting what he said in terms of, I took these players to a level they've never been to before. I think he's right. If you go through a lot of those players, I don't think they were, you know, what users had achieved over a long number of time. A lot of them were maybe winning the first title. And Marino's won so much. So that's the, the decision for the, for, the, for the owner. Does he look at it and think, I've got to change the manager? Or did he start thinking now, a lot of these players have got to go? And that's the decision he's got. But he's normally always taking the side of uh, the players and it's the manager who's gone. That's the quick effect, certainly. Well, well of course it is. But this, this can't continue. Something has to change. Now, the only way you can change it right now is by changing the manager. Because you can't obviously change the players. You may have to wait till the end of the season. To, you're not going to do ma major business in January. But the, the big thing about what Frank said about Chelsea had this idea of having sort of a stable figure as a manager. Maybe look into what Arsenal and Manchester United have done. They've got one of the most successful managers in world football over the last 10, 15 years. He's our figurehead. We want him as the manager. But this is a man who's never done that. 